Yo, what is up everybody? Brandon SF101 here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the KO Perico heist after the Los Santos Tunas update for both solo and multiple people, including the best, fastest and easiest routes to take and how to avoid very frustrating situations like this. Are you kidding me? I can't believe this. <laughs> and this. Rockstar fix GTA for god freaking sake you patch your dog let you freaking mess up the heist Oh my god Are you actually kidding me right now? Now just before we jump into the video if you guys could do me one massive favor Hit that like button for me hit the subscribe button and guys that's enough of my jibber jabber Let's get straight into it So as some of you guys may know obviously Rockstar have made a lot of changes to the Kao Perico heist From the Los Santos tuners update so the first route I'm going to be showing you guys here, I'm going to be playing at a 2 times speed for you guys so you can see the route at a slightly faster pace and this is definitely one of the best routes and easiest routes for if you have multiple people that you're running the heist with. On this route that I'm showing you guys, for some reason I don't know if Rockstar meant to do this but the second guard that you're meant to kill takes a completely different route to what he used to take. Now for some reason he jumps over the railing and sort of goes back on himself and walks back to where he should be. I don't know why he does this and it does seem like it's another bug that obviously Rockstar have created since the update. But again, just take him out, just kill him and then you can proceed with the route I'm going to show you guys. But I do daily streams for you guys where I run heists for my subscribers and essentially get you guys paid by running the Kero Perico heist and bringing you guys along with me. So if you guys ever want any money, just make sure you are sub to the channel, pop along to one of my streams and I'll be happy to get you guys paid by bringing you on a heist. Now, like I said, if you guys are taking multiple people on a heist, this will probably be one of the best routes you can take. It's nice and easy. You can really easily kill the guards when they've stopped moving. And if one person is leading the way, obviously the other guys who's on the heist with you can literally just follow you around and do everything you tell them to do without setting off the alarm. So if you guys watched the start of the video, you'll see that I put up two little glitches that obviously are new to the KO heist that never used to happen before the Los Santos tuners update. Now when the update dropped, Rockstar essentially made a few changes to the KO heist. They obviously patched a door glitch that tons and tons of people were using. I mean I posted videos on my channel about it and I would say a lot of people knew about the door glitches and obviously they were raking it in from how much money people could earn from it or how much extra money people could earn from it. So Rockstar have obviously patched them since the update. Following this as well, Rockstar have done other things like they've removed the boats that drive around the island so you can't really steal a boat at the end of your heist to drive away from the island and start the cutscenes and the heist. Now some of the guards wear bucket hats and they also get alerted a lot easier. Now talking about the guards, they've also made their alert boxes a lot smaller. But again, the guards are not deaf anymore. So if you guys throw a C4 at anyone and blow them up, it will alert everybody and set the alarms off. Now when you guys have exited the compound, just do the usual and basically if you have multiple people, you want to head to the right hand side of the compound, run all the way to the end, follow the compound all the way around until you obviously hit the cliffs and you have the sea, then you just want to jump into the sea and swim away from the island with your squad and it will end the heist and start the cutscene for you guys. Now just before I show you guys probably one of the easiest and quickest routes to take if you are going to run the KO Heist solo, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the actual glitches that Rockstar have created. Now like I said, I do run a lot of these heists and this means that obviously I get to experience all of the bugs, all of the glitches because when I'm streaming I'm running these heists back to back for hours upon end and you guys can imagine how many heists I get through. So yes, I do experience most of these glitches and here's a couple of them for you now. So probably one of the main glitches that Rockstar have created, it's an absolute nightmare. When you guys have started your heist, obviously you spawn in if you have the drainage channel as your entry point, you'll go to swim up to the drainage channel and it will not give you a prompt to use the plasma cutter to open the drainage channel. Now I've got no idea why this bug was created, it's an absolute nightmare, you can also tell if you have the bug because your loadout will change, if you have the conspirator loadout you'll see that you now have the shotgun and obviously the machine pistol instead of the AR and the normal pistol. The only workaround that I've found for this is it's not really worth wasting your time trying to find a boat and driving all the way around the island 
just to get into the compound. So the easiest method is simply just end the heist, find a new session and reload up into the heist and fingers crossed it won't happen on your second attempt. Now another glitch, I haven't had this one quite as much as the drainage tunnel glitch. However, this one is also an absolute nightmare. I've just started hacking the keypad in the basement. It has fully bugged out and not loaded me into the mini cutscene to load up into the hack. It is such a pain because one of the only ways you could probably get out of it is if you get one of your teammates to set off your alarms, bring one of the guards down to where you are and get them to kill you. So it resets your heist. Now if you're doing a heist solo and you have this bug, you are absolutely done for. You can literally not do anything other than restart your heist and run it again obviously solo. So guys, I'm sorry if you get even one of those glitches, like I said. But if I do see any other workarounds that fix either of these bugs, I will let you guys know straight away on my channel. Now, moving on to the second method of the KO Preco heist. Just loaded in here, all you want to do is either turn around and go up the other staircase or turn to your right and go up the staircase. Once you guys have gone up this first staircase, you'll see there's another little staircase in front of you. And essentially what you want to do is climb on the railing and then you want to vault up to the pergola to get onto the roof. Now you guys can see I've literally just been able to walk past most of the guards and skip past them all and pretty much go straight to El Ribio's office. Now I did accidentally fall down here, you can walk along the beam and jump over the wall but I'm just going to show you guys me jumping down and killing the guards so you have more of a chance of getting the keys obviously from killing the guards around his office. Once you guys have grabbed your primary loot, all you want to do is exit the compound as you usually would. When you guys are outside, all you want to do is run up the path straight in front of you, kill the guy that's standing by the motorbike and steal the motorbike off him. Now, I've just marked it on the map for you guys to show you where you need to go and essentially you want to follow my route here and drive off the cliff as fast as you can into the water on the motorbike. Once you guys have landed in the water, you'll see like a sort of triangle of mines just in front of you. Just head over to the mines, swim into the middle of them and it will end the heist for you. You'll see the text disappear at the bottom and it will start the cutscene. Again, this is where it is on the map, just showing you guys quickly in case you didn't see it the first time around. And if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining today, please hit that subscribe button for me. I would really, really appreciate it. Whilst you're down there, feel free to hit the like button as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.